You're watching Extraordinariness with Brittany L, where ordinary people do extraordinary things. There was a time I used to look into my father's eyes. In a happy home, I was a king, I had a gold throne. Extraordinary days where ordinary people do extraordinary things. And we are here today with Brian Robinson of BDR Styling. I'm so excited. I have been styled by him today. I feel absolutely fabulous. And we today we get to do a follow-up with him. We do. And I'm excited because some <laughs> things have changed since the last time we spoke. Yes. And what are those true. things that have changed, sir? Well, I'm still styling. BDR Styling is a fashion and wardrobe styling company. Um, pretty much where we left off, it was kind of in still its beginning phases. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it since July 12th of 2012. We started our interview in February of 2013. Right. Um, since then, actually within that month, I was actually introduced to Erica Mena of Love and Hip Hop New York. Okay. I, actually began... I remember a little bit of that coming out. Yeah. Uh, yep. So that was pretty cool. I actually began the process of styling her. First project was for her book cover, mm -hmm. uh, Underneath It All. Which... Oh, I like that. That dress? Yes. It's... Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really a great option. I think that it's always good to listen to the cues of exactly where a client is looking to go, mm -hmm. even if it's taking them out of their room, mm -hmm. because you want to be able to provide that element of surprise mm -hmm. and it being her first book no one was really expecting that mm -hmm. um, but besides that it's been about building my portfolio definitely working with her continuously after mm -hmm. the book I was actually brought on as her stylist for Love and Hip Hop New York bravo yeah. yes <laughs> yeah, round of really cool. applause that's awesome <laughs> yeah I mean it was pretty cool I mean it gave me the ability to really travel more and definitely have the capabilities of networking mm -hmm. to so many different levels building so many relationships and just really being able to perfect my craft mm -hmm. I think Erica is a really good individual to really work with because mm -hmm. the canvas um, it's one that the entire world will see, and she takes the direction really well. And she's, so. and I've seen her in a couple different things where it's been something that I necessarily would have never even thought that she would wear, but she looks phenomenal. Absolutely. And it's like a different look or a different kind of accent here or there that she has. And I'm like, oh, it just turned it just perfectly a little bit one way or the other. So Yeah, of course. You, and, yeah. You know, I'm with Erica it's one of those things where, you know, we have a great relationship. So it was kinda of one of those things where it was kinda of a tug of war at first. She has her initial style and mm -hmm. I have certain envisionments of where I want to take her. Mm -hmm. So it's all about really just having her let her guard down a little bit and really let me take full control of mm -hmm. styling, which is been really cool. You know, she's definitely in her own now. Mm -hmm. um, I've always gotten the accolade that a lot of individuals see a difference in her overall sense of style now. Mm -hmm. and just Kudos her, to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Um, in her overall being. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's what BDR styling is. With BDR styling, it's always been about three essential components, which is envision, create, and transform. Mm -hmm. And that's what I always stick to. You know, I've always had this envisionment of exactly where I wanted to take my clients. Mm -hmm. After really hone in exactly where I want to take them, create that look, and then after that, they're absolutely going to be transformed into what I feel as if is the ideal look for their image. Yeah, I didn't think as even we put See, this together exactly. today, this is not something that I would typically wear. I would yeah. I See, wouldn't necessarily See, look, he's working. Like, he's got me all together. I would never necessarily think, first of all, if I went in a store and saw all of these different pieces separately, yes. I might be like, oh, that's cute, or oh, that's nice. But I would never see it put together and then think, that's what I'm going to wear today. Exactly. So, you do have an eye. You really have a gift that yeah. is like, I can grab it and make it happen. Yeah, and the funny thing is, with this top that you actually have on, this crop, um, and it actually has a little bit of polyester and a little bit of cotton mm -hmm. and a little bit of nylon. But as far as the, the textile and the actual pattern, if you put it against different colored pants, for instance, when I put it against the bronze pants, it mm -hmm. actually brought out an undertone that was inside of the shirt right. that made it pop more. Right. For instance, if you was to wear this top with more of the light turquoise inside of it, it would bring that color out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So all depending on exactly what you incorporate with an outfit, it can really change the shade of that overall ensemble. And, and one of the things that, you know, you're able to do when you can pick that one piece or this or that because I know that I could easily wear this shirt with something else or wear these pants with something else but you know when you transition and you're working with somebody who is on television or this and they want to give a certain appeal I like that you're able to push a boundary 
that you may not have necessarily stepped into originally. Because I'm like, well, do I love dresses. I'm usually the dress girl. So having on pants and like, they're kind of like a little short and having heels on, I'm like, I still feel like myself. Exactly. But you gave me a new avenue to kind of, you know, work within. Absolutely. And like you said, Erica, she's kind of in a place now where I do see things that she wears. She does look very different. And yes. it, it is very, like, I love the book cover. Like, I remember, I think it was a purple dress. For was that it, one, it was, was the black and white. It was black, okay. It was the black and white. You remember all of the images, though, because it was constant, 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 just behind the scenes pics. Mm -hmm. And her second book is actually about to come out, which had a lot of different outfits. So, mm -hmm. there's tons of video styling throughout the book. Oh. So, it's going to be really cool. Well, published and whatnot. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now that you sit here, and I mean, we're what? eight months ago yeah eight. we were having a conversation about so these are things coming up these are things I'm gonna be doing and now to actually be doing it how does it feel like how do you you know look back at the footage and then you remember we were sitting on the steps of your childhood yes. home reminiscing about who you were and that moment of inspiration and when you felt free and the, the pole wasn't there anymore but that hole was still exactly. there yes and yeah, so reminiscence of my childhood right so how does it feel now looking at where you are and it's scary really? it is i mean it's a good scary mm -hmm. and you know it goes back to that quote that if your dreams aren't big enough and you know if they don't scare you then obviously you're not thinking large enough mm -hmm. and at the end of the day what i'm doing to a lot of people may seem so simplistic that are not into fashion but people want to be able to get their creative drive and their passion out there and really be able to infuse that on a public figure mm -hmm. or someone that they feel as if is going to really be able to get across that look that they have in their mind that they want to be able to provide so it's been a scary roller coaster mm -hmm. but at the same time frame i'm accepted it because this is what i asked for mm -hmm. and you know be careful day, what you ask for because you just might get, get it. it absolutely and you know it's it's a blessing at the mm -hmm. end of the day i just look at it as I initially didn't go to school for fashion merchandising. You know, mm -hmm. I initially did in the later years, but my passion to begin with was um, mass communication with integrated media to be mm -hmm. a television host. Okay. So, oh, you trying to take my job? <laughs> we I see home. what I see what it is now. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna slide on in. Go ahead. Okay. Oh no. But you found your no, you found your gift. Like, there's a um, quote that I um, put out that was just, you know, you can be taught skills. Yes but you can't be taught gifts. Absolutely. And when you engage your gifts, that's where you can learn skills that will enhance it. Exactly. So a lot of people will engage so much time into, I gotta get this degree or this certification or this, because they think that that's gonna make whatever it is that they want. But your unique gift is that twang you put to it, that spins it and then makes it like this, that makes it what Erica looks like, that makes it like what you have on right now, because I want this shirt <laughs> myself. But that's, that's definitely what it is. You use your gifts and you definitely have. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad I've been a part of this journey with yes. you. Because it's just like, I told you it's true. Put it in the universe, believe it, and say it, and it'll happen. That is absolutely true. And you're a living example of that right now. Yeah, and I appreciate all of the accomplishments and all of the opportunities that have come my way. And I think with me, I don't allow myself to really soak it all in because I'm always thinking about what's next. Mm -hmm. You know, the next big picture, the next big project, the next big thing. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I think that working with Erica has been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience because it's allowed me to showcase my work nationally and mm -hmm. open that door for so many more people to see exactly what BDR styling is. Mm -hmm. And it's so much more than just me. You know, it's a company, it's a brand, mm -hmm. it's a way of life. And I really want to just take it all the way to the top. And mm -hmm. you well me, on your way, yeah. You know, it's like I just completely, my key to success, I really feel like is just do you. Don't worry about what the Message. next stylist is doing. Don't mm -hmm. try to mimic certain things. Just really go for what you feel as if it's your passion, your heart and soul, and infuse that. And the way I infuse it is through garments, you know. Doctors do it through, you know, schooling to actually treat patients, lawyers, win cases. You want to be at the top of your game. For right. me, it's about making sure that I can solidify a look and making sure that I can stamp it and get nothing but accolades that someone actually looks phenomenal and something that I put together. So I have to say that I am extremely proud of you. I am overjoyed that I was able to be a part of this journey with you. I'm excited for the next steps that are coming. I'm excited for premieres of shows and all the wonderful things that are gonna be coming up. And because you are clearly an example of 
when you put something into the universe, when you speak it into existence, it can happen. Absolutely. What's some advice that you would give or that you would leave with our audience that's watching? Um, I think for anyone that's trying to enter the world of styling or are interested in fashion in general, just follow your passion. I mm -hmm. mean, for me, for instance, it wasn't my first choice as far as career, but it was something that I was actually drugged into, um, dragged into, um, just for my love of garments and just with individuals just asking me, okay, this looks good together. How can I do this? And, you know, being on um, production sets and mm -hmm. just seeing how people really piece it together, it really provided me with the passion to really want to do it as a career. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that is going to be coming really quick is I am going to be going ahead and doing workshops, BDR styling oh, workshops, okay. where it will be completely black through social media where you can sign up um, and actually get a crash course on exactly the fundamentals that are needed in order to actually be a successful fashion stylist within the industry. That's awesome. Yes. And that's wonderful then you can give back and teach and tell others. It's nothing to have a gift and then not share it and not tell others how they can become better within themselves. Yes. So I commend you. Oh, thank Bravo. You. Thank you, you are definitely an awesome person. Thank you. And thank you for joining me again. You're more than welcome. In this beautiful background, this beautiful space it that we're is. in. I mean, it's the absolutely Orioles awesome. Stadium. It's a sentimental feeling, it right? Is. Baltimore, you know. <laughs> exactly, it's, exactly. It's home. Exactly. And Love thank it. you all for watching and stay tuned for more to come up. We will see you later. Bye.